Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Mudblood Cal here. Um, so today we're just going to be talking about a couple things. Uh, Jamal Murray tore his ACL. Um, and basically the playoff picture in both the East and the West. And who I think still has a shot to make a run uh, to push into the playoffs at this point. Uh, so let's get started. Leave a like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Mudblood Cal. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, so earlier this morning, about an hour or so ago, uh, news broke. Jamal Murray has torn his ACL. He suffered the injury last night against the Warriors in a 105-107 loss. Um, Murray's averaging 21-5-4 on the season right now. Um, and this is going to be a massive loss for the Nuggets, who are currently sitting at around fourth in the East, just a game ahead of the Warriors. Um, and three games back of the Clippers, and six games back of first place. Um, but this is a massive loss for the Nuggets. This is their second best player, um, and I think it mostly just straight up removes them from title contention. I can't see a Nuggets team uh, winning the title without a red hot Jamal Murray. So, I don't know. Um, I'd assume they would start Monte Morris at point guard now. That seems like it'd be the move. Um, so we'll, I guess, see how that goes. Um, Morris is averaging 10 points on 26 minutes. So, I, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how that goes. So, uh, the Nuggets schedule for the rest of the season isn't, and it's, um, we'll, we'll see. I'm just going to read it off. We'll see if we think they're going to fall out of the playoffs or not, because I don't think they will. Heat, Rockets, Grizzlies, Trailblazers, Warriors, Rockets, Grizzlies, Pelicans, Raptors, Clippers, Lakers, Knicks, Jazz, Nets, Hornets, Timberwolves, and Pistons. Um, so pretty light, minus the one, two, three, four, five game stretch in between May 1st and May 8th when they play, um, you know, Jazz, Nets, Knicks, Lakers, and Clippers. That'll be a tough stretch for them. Um, but all in all, I think they'll be able to hang in the playoffs. They'll probably finish with about 40 wins. Will they stay at the... Will, will they stay at the four seed? I don't know. Maybe they'll fall down to the five or the six. Um, it'll be tough, though. Um, the Grizzlies are sitting at eighth right now at 27-5. and five. I don't really see them falling that far. I mean, that's just a seven-game difference. I don't think the Nuggets are going to lose uh, seven out of these last 12 games. Um, also, I don't think the bottom of the table is going to go on a big run or anything. Um, I think it's a pretty safe to say the Timberwolves, Rockets, and Thunder, and I guess we can go ahead and throw in the Kings now as they're on a seven-game losing streak, have been um, essentially eliminated from playoff contention. So that leaves... Pelicans, Clippers, Warriors, Spurs, Grizzlies, and Mavericks. And I guess we can throw Trailblazers in there right now, I guess. Um, fighting it out for uh, playing tournament spots or trying to break out of the playing tournament spots and not fall into that uh, for the Trailblazers. Um, Pelicans are on a bit of a winning streak. Pelicans kind of remind me of the Texans in the NFL last season. Um, I guess sticks up that Pelicans will probably finish a little, like, a couple games back to 500. The Texans went 3-13. and 13. But it took me till probably about week 10 or 12 around then to be like, oh, the Texans aren't going to make the playoffs. Because I just kept thinking they were going to go on a run because it was, like, I knew that they lost their core. It was still, I thought it was still a good football team, and I was wrong. So, um... The Warriors are two games back of 500. Spurs sitting at the ninth seed exactly at 500. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a tough hill for anyone really to climb out of. Um, for, I guess, the Pelicans. I, I know the Warriors can. Warriors-Mavericks playing game would be pretty good. Uh, I don't know about spurs Grizzlies one. Um I do Pelicans. I could do like Pelicans, Spurs, or Pelicans, Grizzlies. I don't. I don't really want to deal with both those teams. Um, 
So maybe we could get some fun playing games. We'll see. If we look at the east, though, um, this is only showing Western. I know I'm not really talking about the... But we're just talking playoff picture right now. Um, if we look at the east, you know, top three teams, 76ers, Nets, Bucks, and then you've got uh, nine through four, just all within four or so games of each other. Um... Yeah, the Pacers two games back for 500 and everyone else. Um, I think it's safe to probably eliminate Pistons. Uh, Magic, definitely. The Cavaliers, the Wizards, the Raptors, the Bulls. Uh, maybe not the Bulls. The Bulls, I can still see them making a run with uh, this. I don't know who all do the Bulls have to play. If the Bulls have a really easy schedule, they can make the playoffs, but... Um, it's going to be tough for them. Oh, they'll probably end up with a play-in game. Let's see who, who all they got. Uh, Magic, Grizzlies, Cavaliers, Celtics, Cavaliers, Hornets, Heat, he, Knicks, Bucks, Hawks. Sounds pretty easy so far. Uh, 76ers, Hornets, Celtics, Pistons, Nets, Rap. Yeah, this is a pretty easy schedule. If they just beat the teams they should beat, um, I think the Bulls might be able to at least find themselves in a, like firmly in a playoffs, a play-in tournament game. Uh, but then there's also the Raptors, just right behind them. Uh, let me check the Raptors control real fast, see if they're um, in a spot where they can do anything. Let's look. I don't think they are, honestly. Hawks, Spurs, Magic, Thunder, Nets, Knicks, Cavaliers, Nets, Nuggets, Jazz, Lakers, Clippers, and was Yeah, this is... Yep, the Raptors are screwed. Uh, so I think it's probably safe to eliminate them from playoff contention. Uh, so that just leaves the 10 teams who will probably be uh, the playing teams in Bulls, Pacers, Knicks, Celtics, Hornets, He, Hawks, Bucks, Nets, and 76ers. I think that's probably, I think we've just about finalized it our, maybe not seeding wise, but the team side will be uh, from the East. But of course, someone could always just lose 10 straight games. Um, if it's anyone, it'll probably be the Hornets, but you never know. Um... But, yeah, um, I guess possible play-in games. We could have Bulls, Celtics, I don't know how I feel about that. Pacers, Knicks would be, a, I don't know, these aren't, like, massive headline games. Um, I don't know, maybe someone will fall down to the 8th seed. I mean, there's all these, these five or so teams back close together. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I apologize for no uploads Monday, or, yeah, Monday or Sunday. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. Um, it took me this long to upload today. I usually upload earlier in the day. Uh, and I was also having technical difficulties. I couldn't get my microphone to work today. Yesterday, I just literally couldn't get the editing software to load. Um, so yeah, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and peace.